If you transported an NBA fan from 10 years ago to today and you tried to explain what Giannis is like without showing footage of Giannis playing, how would you describe him? He's LeBron, but taller. He's Shaq, but faster. He dunks on centers with ease. They call him the Greek freak because he could be a freak on the court and on the shit, oh you know what I'm saying? Giannis was drafted by Milwaukee with the 15th overall pick. Now that late in the draft, expectations are pretty low. For a team like Milwaukee stuck in mediocrity, no one blamed him for taking someone unknown. Still, people were like, wait a second, we drafted Giannis onto to what, po? Look, the vast majority of NBA fans and NBA analysts don't follow European leagues. But thanks to the internet, we have public access to their film if we do want to study them. Guys like Doncic and Porzingis, we can see them go up against high-level competition. But Giannis, he didn't play in the famous EuroLeague. He didn't play in Liga Baloncesto for a big club like Real Madrid. No, he played in the A2 League, especially, essentially the G League of Greece. When professional NBA scouts at the time said they barely knew this kid that the Bucks drafted, they weren't kidding. There was hardly any footage of him playing basketball, much less film against quality competition that one could analyze. There are flashes of athleticism in his rookie year, a dunk here, a block there, but his highlights, cool as they may be, still can't mask his shaky physique. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. He's, he's built like if KD grew up in Haiti. <clears throat> Sorry. Giannis had a long way to go because potential is just that, potential. Talented prospects come and go in the NBA because this is a complex game that requires more than an athletic frame. At this point, I can let the numbers tell the story. Look at how every single year, Giannis gets better in every category. Look at how he gets better the year after he wins the MVP. That is a type of work ethic you can't teach. Obviously, Giannis was born with incredible physical tools. He's had good health so far, knock on wood. But let us not forget, for every Giannis Antetokounmpo, there's a hundred Bruno Caboclos. Is Giannis not the perfect embodiment of why we look up to athletes, the family, the money, the underdog story? So if there is a lesson to take from Giannis's rise to might, if there's one piece of advice to guide you towards the light, it's to stop playing Fortnite, loser, get your lazy ass in the gym. Am I right, Giannis? I don't play Fortnite either. I just role play at night.